So picture it, the year was 1987 and little 11 year old Alpha was sitting there watching MTV back when MTV actually had music videos on when he saw it for the first time. George Michael. There he was, right? He playing his guitar in his super slim fit jeans. He had his leather jacket on. He was, he was doing all sorts of sexy moves. He had sunglasses on, his hair, perfection. But the thing that really drew me in and caught my attention was the beard. I'd never seen anything like it. It was Perfect. And it was from this moment that I knew someday, someday, I was going to rock the George Michael designer stubble. Fast forward a few years, few more than a few, and here we are today, and I'm doing a grooming tutorial to show you some of the biggest mistakes that men make when it comes to actually rocking short stubble beards. The first and probably biggest designer stubble mistake that I see guys making is actually going too short with their beard, all right? It's all about the millimeters. Right? The difference between a 5 o'clock shadow beard and sexy designer stubble is about 10 days. When it comes to designer stubble and stubble beards, it's all about the details, the millimeters. And there's a big difference between 2 millimeters, 3 millimeters, 4 millimeters, 5 millimeters. 5 millimeters is the max in terms of technically a short stubble beard. In order for your beard to look the best it possibly can, you gotta make sure that you're using a great tool that has the flexibility in order to give you what you're looking for. The only tool that I use and that I would recommend is this. It's the Brio 2.0. I'm gonna link to it down below. The Brio is the best in the business. You're also gonna get this, a Zero Blade, which is a $25 value for free for a limited time and while supplies last. That link is special. It's the combo deal so you don't want to miss this all right they do sell out of these every time i promote it they're back in stock now is the time hit the link treat yourself and your beard to the best the best is brio hit the link grab it if you don't have one you need one all right guys so once you have your grooming tool now it's time to actually figure out what length you're going to want to trim it all right so 10 day stubble is scientifically proven to be the most attractive in terms of beard length all right there's a study done where they basically took all these women like a thousand or two thousand women and showed them all different images of men at different stages of facial hair growth from clean shaven to big beard and what they found is that statistically 10 day stubble was viewed across the board as the most attractive 10 day stubble is five millimeters my beard right now is six millimeters all right as you can see when i go over it with my six millimeter guard nothing's coming off but if i want to go five millimeters all i do is flip it around all right it's going to be the three millimeter but then i'm going to drop the micro adjustments all the way down and then all i'm going to do is go over my entire face which brings me to actually the next mistake that a lot of guys make and that is up here by their sideburns all right if you are having a short beard and you've got a longer haircut you got to make sure you are fading and blending your beard into your sideburns. One of the things that makes you look stupid is when it's like super short and then bang, there's like a very distinct line in terms of the transition from your beard to your hair. Up and roll, all right? It's all about that roll. And then every three to four days, what I'd recommend is just grab your Brio and go over your hair in order to make sure that it maintains that specific sexy length. Now, if you wanna let it grow a little longer, no big deal, but that's more of like a full to medium length beard, which we've talked about in other videos, right? Now, the next mistake that I see a ton of guys still making is not detailing it properly in terms of the boundary. Never overly carve or shape or make your beard too thin. You look like a douche, all right? Also, don't let it just grow up your face or down your neck or else you look like a savage. And so it's critical that you learn to define the boundaries properly. Take something straight, stick it at the corner of your ear where it meets your face down to your mouth. You're gonna shave everything above, leave everything below. But notice that line. The reason why that looks the best is that it's going to follow the contour of your face, helping to define your face a little bit better. Super thin beards or overly square beards that just kinda like go into the mustache looks terrible and it doesn't make you look as good as possible. And so that is where the boundary is going to be up on your cheeks, both sides. It's gonna help frame your face and make your beard look the best it can be. Now, on your chin, 90% of men that have beards still are carving it wrong underneath their chin, all right? And I used to do it, right? I used to think that you just needed to follow that jawbone. That's absolutely not the case. Head straight, take something straight, right? And you're gonna shave 
everything below, leave everything above in order to make sure that your beard looks the best it can be and your jaw doesn't look super weak. Grab my Brio, I pop off the regular head and I grab my Zero Blade. Guys, this Zero Blade is amazing. It's gonna take it literally like skin bald, but you gotta be careful, right? It just pops on like that. Don't even mess around with this thing, right? You don't even need to when you have something like the Zero Blade. And guys, like I said, it's free right now for those of you who hit that link down below. The link is special. The Brio 2.0, it's got some features that the original Brio, which is still awesome, doesn't have, all right? You've got this really badass like LED screen. It's gonna show you the RPMs. It's also gonna show you the runtime. And then on the side, you've got a soft touch grip, all right? Same ceramic blade, same titanium rake, same huge battery. Guys, if you don't have this tool, you need it, hit the link down below. I'm telling you, this is the best and it works for everything on your body, not just your face, but manscaping as well. Just don't use the zero blade on your balls or else you'll bleed. Right there, get close to the corner of your mouth. Do not let it like curve by your mouth. That's another something that looks like stupid. It's all about nice defined sharp angles when it comes to your beard. And then get up there near the corner of your nose, right? That's another mistake that a lot of guys make. They neglect right there in the crook of their nose and you get these like long crazy hairs, right? Right there. And then take it and simply edge along your lip to make sure that your hair isn't like growing down into the lip area, which is another huge mistake and total turnoff in terms of dudes and beards, right? Nobody wants to kiss a guy and get a mouthful of fuzz. Edge up around your ear just to make sure that you keep it clean and tidy in between haircuts. That is the basic tutorial on how to actually groom properly a 10 day stubble. You want to go a little longer, let it go a little longer. You want it a little shorter, have it be a little bit shorter. One of the cool things about stubble beards is that even if you're a little bit patchy, they still look pretty awesome. All right. Don't worry about having a perfectly filled in beard. All right. A lot of times it's going to happen, but it takes time, age, and testosterone. Now, another bonus tip I'd like to give you in terms of trimming in order to make your beard look more aesthetic is about out this little patch of hair, the soul patch, right? What I like to do is actually come in and clean up some of the stray straggler hair right up there, right? Other side and kind of give it a little bit of a diamond dimension or a triangle. What that's doing is actually drawing the eye down, helping to strengthen your chin. Beard oil. Do you need it when you're rocking a short beard? No. Honestly, in my opinion, I think beard oil is kind of a waste if you have a short beard. And the reason is because the hair is turning over so quick, right? Every like four days, you're trimming a lot of it off. So you really are losing a lot of the benefit of an oil or any type of conditioner. The one upside to an oil is that it will help to get in there and condition the skin so it reduces the risk of chin flakes. But your moisturizer, that's what I would honestly recommend you use, right? Maybe use a little bit more and then apply it, right? everywhere including into your beard and your neck all right this is going to do a lot better job in terms of nourishing and conditioning the skin not to mention protect it right because most moisturizers that you should be using has an spf of 20 and just because you've got a short beard does not protect the skin underneath it from the sun's harmful rays beards are sexy but they also can be not sexy if you make any mistakes we talked about in today's video. Gentlemen, don't be not sexy. Be sexy. Avoid the mistakes we talked about and your beard is going to look better than 99% of other dudes. I love you, George Michael.